want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, how can I become an expert in stock market trading? Answer by Rashida D. Ilkar. One shouldn't take shortcuts in investing. There are a few key and easy to understand indicators that nearly anyone can use to quickly analyze a stock. In financial lingo, looking at the company in relevant economic conditions is called fundamental analysis. Considering the stock price and its possible movement in the near term is referred to as technical analysis. Having buck rate companies at too high prices, I can attest to the need to consider the general health of a company and whether its stock is overvalued or undervalued in the marketplace. 1. See the company firsthand. You can learn a lot about a company by visiting its facilities and talking to employees. Store visits, chats with employees, etc. can give you insights into an organization's general well-being. While you won't learn all that you need to know, you can contrast the corporate image with reality and determine if the company is worth further investigation. 2. Look at financial reports. Access financial statistics directly at the SEC Edgar database. Use online tools to dig into financial performance, where financial results and trends can be viewed under the Financials tab. Notice whether net income is positive, indicating that the company is generating a profit. Revenue and earnings have grown over time, and operating cash flow is positive and growing. Past performance is not a guarantee but can indicate whether a company may continue to grow and deliver strong returns for shareholders. 3. Look at the P.E. ratio. The price to earnings ratio which is the stock price divided by earnings per share, gives you an idea of whether you'll snag a bargain or pay a premium for the stock. This number might be referred to as the stock's valuation, which fluctuates due to real and perceived value. You can get this ratios online on financial portals where expertise will provide you stock information and recommendations as well. Looking at the current PE of a stock compared to its historical performance as well as its industry peers and if the market in general can give you an idea about current valuations. For Watch the news. A glance at financial news can give you insights about a specific company as well as its industry and overall market activity, which can impact a stock's value. There are some apps or financial portals which helps you to keep updated with market trends and getting appropriate news at appropriate time is what really matters in stock markets. Now through this analysis you can decide whether to invest in particular stock or not. Answer by Anindadar. Experience and your ability to become when everything goes wrong will dictate your degree of success in the stock markets. Anyone can read enough books and articles and become an expert in theory of the stock markets, however, unless you are able to apply that theory in the live market, it will not garner you any returns. So, in order to become a trader, be prepared to lose money initially, learn constantly from your mistakes and most importantly, work on your mental discipline and ability to remain calm under stress. You must also realize that not everybody can maintain calm while looking at their money getting eroded and there is nothing wrong with that. So, you must first realize if you have the mentality of a trader. If not, then it is better that you stick to investing. Hope this helps and happy trading. Goodwill. Answer by Niraj Mehta. Learning plus practicing. Before you start investing you need to have a thorough understanding of how the stock market works. What are the key parameters that one should analyze? How market news affects the stock prices? Special emphasis should be learning stock analysis. That includes fundamental and stocks analysis. When you are done with this part, you can start practicing in the stock simulators. This will not only test your knowledge about the stock market but through simulators, you will also devise your way of analyzing the stocks and reduce time and efforts in the process. Always remember, this requires a lot of time and efforts from the investor. In the start, you can take help from the stock market advisory firms that can help you in selecting the best stock depending on your wealth and portfolio. And, if you're smart enough you can even learn how they analyze their stock by understanding the underlying pattern of these firms. 